Hi, Fire Signs. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your general love reading for the month of November 2017. This is for all of the fire signs for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I'm going to start with Leo and then move on to Aries, then Sagittarius, and I will place the time stamps for you. So let's get started with your reading, and I've already placed the cards for Leo. So at the bottom of the deck, Leo, and this is for those of you who are partnered or single, however it plays out for you if you're single and someone doesn't show up in this reading, it may just not be for you at this time, but you could always request a personal reading from me if you are curious to know if someone's coming into your life during the month of November and thereafter. So Leo, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Cups, which is beautiful. This is a new beginning in love. This could be a birth, something birthing, new love birthing, physical birth, new beginnings in emotional developments for you. For those of you who are single, this could be a new love coming into your life during this time. Beautiful overall energy card to get. This could also be if you are involved with someone, this could just be a New, begin new beginning in emotional connection between the two of you. You also have the Ten of Cups here. So this card is telling me that there is a wish come true or, if, or close to a wish come true. Perhaps maybe um, just this feeling of contentment emotionally during this time could have something to do with this new beginning that's happening or someone expressing their love to you and then you have the six of swords also so somebody could be coming to visit you or you visit they but the six of swords is also getting out of emotional chaos and moving into a more calmer situation you can see with this card so maybe someone comes to for some of you, comes to your rescue, or someone comes to take you away, or someone comes to visit you, or this person, um, you could be dealing with an air sign. This person sort of takes the lead, takes charge in this relationship. Some of you could be traveling uh, over water as well. or someone traveling over water to come see you. You also have the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like for some of you that have been in a relationship, it's a time of really taking stock now and see. I feel like there's, so th for those of you who are involved with someone, there can be this energy of now figuring out how to take it to the next level because there is a new beginning in love here for you and then you have the world as well so all these energies playing together you know the world is like closing a chapter on a past situation and starting something new so y you and another person have gone through all the phases or have cycled through a particular situation within your relationship and now moving on to the next thing which is bringing contentment and peace it may be something that you've been wanting for some time you know if there was a situation that you were involved in with someone where there was just a lot of unknowns or <coughs> an emotional uh, a little emotional chaos or trying to work out the kinks in a relationship or even if you're single and you're not involved there could have just been this you know you getting to this place in your life where you're ready for love and I know a lot of you have been but really reaching that contentment that emotional contentment some of you having this feeling of you know I'm okay being single I'm okay. I'm not going to keep looking. I'm just going to be really happy with what I have and happy with where I am in my life and what direction uh, my life is going 
and I'm going to keep moving forward and really just start assessing what it is that I need now. And all of that closes the door on the past and brings you this new beginning, opens you up to new love. So for those of you who are single, it's really talking about getting yourself to that place where you find that emotional fulfillment within yourself and you invest in yourself and you take a look at where you've been and where you're going and what you have to look forward to in your life and put an end to any past hurts or pains because when you do that and you heal that energy within yourself then you open yourself up again to new love and it will be coming so I think I feel November is very good for singles and also for those of you who may have had difficulty in a past relationship I see something new coming in for you where you reach this place of contentment and peace with another person even if it's not an air sign it can be anyone that whomever it is that you may be dealing with Okay, so I'm going to move on to Aries. So, hello Aries, how are you? So this is going to be your love reading, general love reading for the month of November 2017. This is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And if you wish to get a personal reading, please visit my website, moonpytarot.com, or you can download the Instant Go app from your iPhone and look for Moon Pie Tarot, and you can send me a quick text or a phone call, anything that you need to know, and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. What are the energies for Aries? For November 2017 for love. So the Seven of Swords, Four of Rods, Four of Cups. Five of Rods. In the bottom of the deck, the Knight of Rods. <laughs> Lots of Rod energy. Oh my goodness. So there's a fearlessness with you, Aries, and that doesn't surprise me. This energy is coming through. You are taking on new projects, new adventures in your life. And since this is a love reading, you could be feeling fearless about love at this time, or you may have someone who is approaching you. Now, sometimes the Knight of Rods can be, whether it's male or female, someone who um, is a very sexual, lustful type of um, energy about them, and they. The thing about the knights is that they are not, um, when you look at a king, kings, they sit on their throne, basically. They don't move. Knights are always in movement, okay? So they're always charging. They never stay in one place. So some of you may have someone coming in and out during this time. It could be another fireside. Uh, someone may be in their 30s, 20s. This also could be your energy where you are blipping in and out of someone's life during the month of November, but in a very passionate way, very lustful way. Now be careful with this seven of swords, okay? So if this is not you, Aries, you could have someone who is coming in during this month who has a little bit of deceptive type energy like they they sneak in and they sneak out okay um 
this person, well, this card in general is it talk, can talk about lies and deception and theft. But, you know, it could also be someone who is trying to get something from another person. Could be you. Um, could be someone else. It's not necessarily that, you know, you're going to go into your, uh, if you're dating someone, you're going to meet someone. It's not necessarily that you're going to go in and steal all their belongings, but you might, so be careful. But it could be too. You could have someone that's kind of has maybe, if you're female, this could be a male that's got this very play, play, playboy type energy that comes in and just tries to take from you. So you want to watch out for that energy for that person. If it was in, an, uh, you know, it could just be like a friends with benefits kind of a situation if you're single. If you're in a relationship with someone, this could just be someone that maybe they try to take advantage of you in a marriage or a committed relationship. And then you have the Four of Cups here. So, and then also when I pulled up this Knight of Rods, I saw the Tower here. So there's something that is going to occur during the month of November that's, that will be shocking, sudden. Some of you may be already in a relationship and this person comes in and, you know, tries to disrupt things for the sole purpose of their own gain. Okay, so the Seven of Swords, you know, it's not like they come in and they physically take things. This is more of communicative energy where there's there could be, I feel like there could be um, gossip maybe or someone who is ex uh, texting or emailing or saying things that could disrupt a relationship. So you might want to be careful to see what's going on with that. This Four of Cups energy, though, I see you just really kind of taking this, whomever it is that tries to produce this energy for you. And you're just kind of like, you know, I'm not listening. Don't listen. You take this very apathetic view towards this person, almost as if, you know, whatever they try to do, it's not going to affect you. It's not going to affect your relationship. You're not going to allow them to come in and, and uh, come in and out of your life and disrupt things for you. Okay. They may try or it could be you. So be careful. It could be you having this energy of trying to disrupt someone else's relationship. Okay. And they n just being indifferent to your actions or your advances. But I don't feel like this energy is really heavy. You know, it's it's play it's it's kind of playful with the five of rods. It's kind of like someone just I feel like for you, Aries, if this is someone doing this for you, you're just going to take on this it's like a fly that's buzzing around your head. It's really it's just an annoyance. It's not a big huge deal it will come out of nowhere but it's just an annoyance and if this is you Aries doing this to someone um, you know they're going to just find you to be quite annoying <laughs> if you're trying to get back at someone or if you're trying to you know buzz in and out of someone's life to cause a little bit of disruption uh, so yeah I just kind of feel like It's just, you know, <laughs> if you have someone new coming in, I just feel like you might want to I was also getting the message, if this is someone new coming in for you, if you're single, 
they may try to deceive you that they want something committed or like a committed relationship with this four of rods they may try to deceive you about that because they may just be after mm, uh, just a sexual relationship with you and if that's not something that you're looking for you know you you may just see what they're they're doing or figure it out and just take on this energy like oh whatever you know you don't really want if, if it's not something you want you'll just be indifferent to their advances because you're not stupid you'll figure it out you know and then there may be a little bit of back and forth and you know them saying no 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 that's not true that's not true but you're you you don't take any bull from anyone you're very straightforward and you'll call a spade a spade and if that's what you see it for what it is you'll you'll call them on it there won't be a problem yeah so for some of you if you're single and someone's coming in for you out of the blue during this time you might just go and have a little bit of fun you know and just have this playful energy back and forth it, it might just be a fun November for you for flirting and uh, having a little bit of, uh, you know, camaraderie, uh, playful, witty type energy, a little sarcasm, that kind of thing. Nothing too serious. It's very light for you, Aries, except for, you know, even though there could be someone coming in, if you're in a relationship or married, who could be trying to disrupt your relationship, uh, the situation or your connection with your partner, I feel like you're just going to shoo shoo. <laughs> that kind of attitude. Okay, so that's Aries. So now let's move on to Sagittarius. Hi, Sag. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your general love reading for the month of November 2017 for Aries Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. I've changed the format a little bit for a lot of it for the month of November so I could get these videos out to you guys. If you would like more clarity on the situation or if it doesn't resonate and you need a reading from me or you would like one, please visit my website moonpietarot.com. Also, if you would like to connect with me on the Instant Go app, if you have an iPhone, download the app from your iPhone app store and you can send me a quick message. I'm Moon Pie Tarot on the Instant Go app. You can ask me anything you want or phone call or we can chat in a conversation and I can respond to you within 24 hours. So Sagittarius, what is going on for you for the month of November 2017? Love, love, love. I feel like this card wants to come out strength two of cups sorry for the blur I'll fix it The Ace of Pentacles. Mm. And the Three of Cups. And at the bottom of the deck, oh, we just had this for Aries. So the Four of Cups. So Sagittarius, you may be getting a lot of offers from people. Uh, a lot of love offers or people trying to connect with you. But you are, for some reason, what's going on with you guys, you're not interested. Or maybe you're just not interested in these offers. Or not necessarily, not necessarily the people, but what they are offering. Um, and they are all different things. They're offering love to you. Look at all these cups. And here she offering a cup and they're offering food. They're trying to satiate you or maybe tempt you or 
Um, even if you are in a committed relationship, you could be quite alluring during this time and people are trying to, they're clamoring to be with you or get your attention. And for some reason, you're just kind of like, I don't know, you seem mad or just kind of like, eh. Like, I think, Saj, you want something more. Like these, these things that are coming in, they're just not enough for you. You know, you, you're holding out. You're waiting for something great. Something real great. That's really just the energy I feel like is coming through. You have all this strength. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo in your life, but you have all this strength as well. Some of you could be waiting for a Leo. And you're confident. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. <coughs> you're confident, you're strong. You're able to uh, assess the situation and bring peace into your life right now. You're really just not in the mood to deal with um, things that you don't feel you did. Uh, 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 things you only want to deal with what you deserve you don't feel like the, the offers of the things that have been coming in for you are good enough for you are you being picky perhaps you know even if you're in a relationship or a committed partnership whichever it is if you have another person you're dealing with maybe they're trying to offer things to you and it just doesn't seem good enough for you during this time you already know what you want. You know the direction you want to go when it comes to love. You're looking for someone. If you are in a relationship, you're looking for both of you to be on that same page. And perhaps what the other person's been offering is just mm, kind of mediocre. It's not like really doing it for you, you know? And so uh, even if you're single, you know, I see you just... You know, you're wanting something committed. Are you wanting, you're wanting to be able to up, go eye to eye, toe to toe, head to head with another person. You want to be on the same page. You're not, you're not ready just, you know, you're just not in settling mood, either with someone or with someone new coming in or any offers that are coming to you. Now, with the ace of pentacles some of you are you know you're looking for something real something substantial something that you can actually that affects your senses some of you may have been doing online communicating with 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 people because maybe you're very busy at work and maybe it's just not satisfying enough for you Right, because I do see that here with the Three of Cups. You know, you're looking uh, for emotional fulfillment. If you're looking for that online, and you've been stuck uh, in chat rooms or texting with people that you really wanted to get to know, it's like maybe it's just not good enough for you. Um, you're getting yourself. You want. You're putting yourself out there. You're enjoying. You want celebrations, you want community, you want family, uh, you want friends, you want real things, tangible things. And that's what this Ace of Pentacles is representing to me in your reading. You're, you know, you're digging and searching for something real that you can touch and you can hold. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is really your energy and whatever is coming in for you during this time or or even if your partner is making advances or trying to please you you just you just don't feel like you are able to be happy with that you want adventure you want real connection during this time and I do feel like for those of you who are single and even in a partnership, you'll get that because you'll make a decision 
And, and I feel like with the Two of Cups, this is similar to making a decision. To be happy with another person. But making, I think you're going to, for those of you who are single, yeah, you may meet someone who really does, you know, this could be like all these other offers coming through. Uh, some of you may be getting offers from a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, someone who could be older, but it's just kind of like not doing it for you. You are looking for an equal, someone perhaps equal in age if you're single, uh, someone who is just, you know, like you're, you're both the same. You have a similarity. Some of you may be connecting with the Leo and that's bringing, and that's, uh, there's a similarity between the two of you. You know, even if you're male and there's a Leo in your life, look at these two women. They they look a bit similar. Some of you may be uh, meeting someone at work, right? This could be could be somebody you work with or someone a new beginning could happen with someone that you work with, either a Leo or someone else similar. Um, to that energy with a very confident and strong because the ace of pentacles if you're starting a new job you may meet someone during this time you have some very beautiful new beginning coming for you during this time I'm really happy for you Sagittarius I feel like whatever you've been dealing with in the past and you know whatever your putting your foot down now with the strength card in a relationship or just in your love life in general and what it is that you want you're not you're not settling or, or you know you're saying no this is what I want I know how to get what I need and you're doing that during this time and I feel strongly whether you're involved or not that in doing this this is going to bring to you this two of cups energy you're going to be head to head with someone on the same page either a situation that somebody was offering to you that just wasn't working out for you is going to get right um, or you're going to meet someone then there's just going to be this emotional uh, reciprocity there's going to be mutual feelings between the two of you there's it, it's almost as if they'll be mirroring of each other you'll you'll just know each other by when you meet or when you see each other you'll know that that's your other part your other half so i think you have a beautiful reading such okay i'm going to end your reading now here so Again, if you'd like to get a personal reading or more clarity on this situation or your love life, please visit me at moonpietarot.com and you can get all the information you need there. All right, take care.